Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm gonna just do like a quick breakdown of this uh, artwork that I'm doing. Um, it's basically um, this uh, fan art artwork for Super Mario Run games that I did. It's a uh, it's really super simple and you probably, um, if you watch all my live noting videos, you probably already found out how I did this. Um, I'm using animation nodes and spare chalk add-on for this. Um, it's all procedural and node based and if I made any changes to the, to the attributes here, it's gonna update accordingly. So as you can see, this is like a, you can see kind of like a sampled, it's a the image of uh, Mario being sampled into this uh, crayon objects, and each crayon have a different height and different color. It's a uh, really just uh, by sampling this image. Um, how I did it is basically really really simple um, I started with uh, with that image basically get any image and then I'm getting the square one because it's simple to to explain and control the UV um, in Spreadshop I started with a brick grid because this brick grid kind of generate like a bunch of points and this is what we can get from from that points the points being arranged in the in this kind of a staggered points. It's not like a normal grid, but slightly staggered, like a hexagonal using the hexagonal points. And then from that points, I'm using Blender own um, displacement modifier, and I'm using the image texture for that. And <clears throat> what this this modifier does is sampling each of the points and pushing the objects, pushing the points in the in RGB by sampling the value of the image it's gonna displace the points right and using that points I can get the color and it's just passing passing the value back into the instance objects for the instance objects I'm using animation nodes and then so basically the animation nodes gonna grab all the object mesh data it's called alpha alpha zero here and I'm instancing, doing this uh, object instancer, and then placing each object in the position of the points. And here I'm also a little bit of uh, variations here with a uh, shape keys. So I have like a <clears throat> like a longer pastel or crayon and shorter crayon. Um, and uh, for the color itself, I'm simply using this uh, the point is being displaced and subtracting subtracting the the final displays points using the default color, uh, the default positions. By doing that, the vector will can can be used as a, and we can get the color back, pass into the object color. That's why we have this kind of design. And the whole thing is procedural. Um, I actually have a little bit of animations. If the if I scrap the timeline line a little bit, you can see animation nodes scatter everything and then as it goes in the frame by frame all the crayons will go back and kind of making the arrangement that we want the whole thing is uh, I like I like this kind of setup because it's a uh, it's all procedural and I can simply make any changes and it will update accordingly so let's say I make this uh, like 10 by 10 so I, I'm gonna have like a smaller number of points you see it's only covering a little bit of uh, Mario face let me update it real quick so it's gonna take a few seconds you will find that this is kind of like a classic example um, there's always like every year there's always like a, an artist in the art world that decided okay I'm gonna make some kind of arrangement and whether they are using like chopstick or ball or crayon or Lego bricks whatever they can pick and then they they just make this arrangement that's kind of doing this what we are doing here like sampling sampling an image 
and you know and then turn it into like a procedural kind of artwork this is a kind of procedural artwork that's uh, actually super basic super simple um, this is nothing like fractal or like a complex L3 system or generative art this is super simple it's just a sampling of real life real life artwork or real life uh, what what you see in a real life and then you bring it you sample what you see and then bring it into into this kind of artwork you can arrange like a colorful glasses or anything you can think of or maybe bamboo or um, chocolate with a different range of uh, grayscale value or even color and if this is like a real object if I can print this out this is gonna be like a little bit more amazing than looking at it in on a computer but as a computer graphic artist you are, you you know how this is done and this is really simple uh, procedure um, it's not as tedious as you won't be needing to spend hundreds or thousands of hours doing this I know I know that some people doing this using like a Rubik cubes or I don't know I don't know I don't see the points but if, anyway some artists like to do that kind of tedious artwork and they might make like thousands or million of dollars I don't know but it's so easy to be done on a computer graphics using blender open source and this cool add-on animation notes and spreadshop so yeah so that's as a computer artist I'm only I'm more interested with the uh, with the idea on how you can generate this as simple as possible and if I can explain it to like a normal person who never used computer or yeah, I'm pretty happy with that um, anyway I found this setup to be quite interesting it's a good study and I recommend you to do this yourself um, you can have like a lot of control over this guy like uh, even with let's say with the rotation if I ever wanna change anything I can control it right here just simply like using uh, like a Euler wiggle and give a random value up and then plug this into the rotations you see we get this kind of design it's totally interactive and speedy I can control a lot of attributes I guess that's the power of computer graphics the problem is uh, how to make this into something in a physical world that people would appreciate more I guess yeah I guess um, yeah that pretty much that's pretty much how I would break down this artwork you can generate it yourself um, make an interesting position arrangement using a certain 3d objects and then make a variations and came out with something original I guess yeah um, I guess that's pretty much it uh, it's a uh, Again, this is just a Super Mario fan artwork. Um, it's copyrighted to Nintendo, so um, it's based on the Super Mario Run games. I highly recommend it. It's currently iOS only, but should be available on Android real soon. Um, a little bit of uh, commotion there. It's uh, my personal recommendation. Anyway, it's a fun game for one month it's worth the value It's fifteen dollars in australia but maybe ten dollars in us anyway it's a fun game to play with and yeah i enjoy the game very much and yeah hopefully you enjoy this live noting if you have any comment feedback suggestion let me know down below and i'll see you in the next video